What's the game? Be game. Welcome back. As I said, back to our channel. It's your girl Amber. It's your boy Brandon. And today I will be asking my boyfriend questions that girlfriends are too scared to ask. Yeah. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That little gesture that I just did, past leg just poured a hair on my leg. It hurt. But yeah, go ahead, go like, comment, and subscribe, and go ready when you are. Question number one. Does hair down there bother guys or you? Me, personally, it depends. If you got a little, little something, no, like, no, it don't bother me. But you, I told you when it was like, I felt like it was getting like too, yeah, but I, I don't have a problem with it. What? What? I, I don't have a problem with it, but when it. He'll, like, if, if, if it come down to it, I'm, I literally, I can see like this much hair growing on my armpits and I will shave my armpits. So he really doesn't have to deal with that, but. I don't have any problem with it. But he doesn't have a problem if it gets to a certain point. Yeah. I guess he's trying to say. Like, he don't have a problem with telling me, though, if it's too much. But... Yeah, I'll tell the straight up. You, you need to see. Like, not like that, but it'd be like, it'd be like this. I, I touch it, like, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, question number two. Do guys like when girls ask them out? Me? No. I, me? So like, if I person, asked you out, you would have said no? I wouldn't say no because I like you, but I'd rather... You like me. What am I, what am I supposed to say? Like, I started talking to you, then. Of course I liked you. Like, like, you don't like me now. You said past tense uh, with a D. I'm talking about at the start. Like, if okay. you would have came up to me, like, at that time, like, I saw you, I liked you. So... If you would have came up to me and like asked me out, uh, okay, I I wouldn't say no, cause I had my eyes on you. But me, I would rather talk to you. I would rather come to you and talk to you first. That's just how I am. I would rather go to her. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I would rather right me had went to her like I did. Question number three: Makeup or no makeup? Well, she don't have no makeup on now. That well, doesn't mean nothing. When? Like... Didn't you wear makeup one time? It wasn't me. It's a good. I don't. I don't even own makeup. Like, I know you don't. But I so think... I know it wasn't me. Like it the only thing that you. I do is put on eyelashes. That's it. Or mascara, which I don't even do mascara I'm, for. That's makeup, right? Okay, but I put on eyelashes. When did you ever see me put on mascara? I put on eyelashes. Yeah, but you did use a little the black thing and you did like that's makeup, right? When did I do that? You did that twice. Okay, so but that's not what the, the question is makeup. Like when people say makeup, you know what they mean. Oh, like no, full, you, I don't like makeup. Like Yeah, some people have to use makeup to look better in their eyes. But, her, she look good without makeup. So, why would she need makeup? I think hey. it mess up your face. Like, if you start wearing makeup. I don't, I, I mean, I've seen people wear makeup and they still have a clear face because they actually take care of their skin. No, I'm talking about you, though. I'm not saying you don't take care of your skin, because you take care of... I mean, if I wore makeup, but, I would be taking care of my skin so my face wouldn't break out, but... And I would have to use certain makeup. But I just feel like anything, like, any slight touch of your face, like, you start breaking out. That's not why I, why I don't wear makeup though. I just feel like, for one, I don't want to take time to put that on every day. I feel like I don't really need it. I have freckles. I don't know if y'all noticed. Y'all probably can't even see because I'm too bright. I have freckles so the, the makeup will probably cover it and I don't really want that either. So, okay, question number four. What do you do if you're nervous on your first date? So, on our first date, listen, the very first time I either, I even took her somewhere. I took it to CVS. If y'all didn't like know how we met, it's a video and that was one of our first videos, but I took it to CVS and 
I was I was nervous because I didn't know if she was gonna judge me about how I drive or the type of music I listen to. So you know what I did? I just played it cool and I played Young Boy. Can Young Boy go wrong? I felt like it couldn't. Going down the road, she don't really like Young Boy like that. She listened. Now you lying. I, you listen. You don't listen to. Who, but whoever said I I don't like Young Boy. I don't favor him as a person. I told him that. His music though, yes, I like his music. As a person though, I don't favor that man at all. That's what I'm I'm not even saying that. But I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go with what I like the most. Maybe you like it the most too, but it's not what you like the most. You like everybody that I really listen to. Well, I listen to them, but I really, what? The people that I listen to, you be listening to. I don't listen to Davies. Okay, and I don't even listen to him around you. The, the stuff that I listen to around you is the stuff that we listen to. And the only time, that doesn't even matter. The question is, <laughs> what do you do if you are nervous on your first date? All so right. what you saying is you keep it cool. That's it. Yeah, like, that wasn't even my first date. On our first date. Right, you talking I, about something that don't even, our first date was what? The movies. And, and was you nervous? Yeah. I went to sleep at the movies, by the way. <laughs> And what do you do on your, what do you do if you're nervous on your first date? I'm about to go to the next question. Just, just start, like, just think about it, like, like, don't try to put a lot of pressure on yourself, because, just, just go with the flow, because, like. So be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. If the person don't like you for who you are, then it wasn't meant to be. Then kick them to the curb. Don't kick them. Just, just, just move on. It's easy to just move on and kicking somebody and then have to deal with the police reports and stuff like that. Oh my God! Kick them to the curb. Don't physically kick them, just but kick them. Yeah. All right. Question number five, because that just took too long. Do guys get butterflies? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When your stomach, when you feel like you got shit, <laughs> your stomach start. Like okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you? But not like. Do you get butterflies like? You know, like, 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 say for instance, me. I'm your girlfriend. Oh, so. yeah. Like, okay. Like, like when I try to do to do different things and be romantic, yeah, I get butterflies. Cause what if she don't like it? Then I just I feel like. Well, is I, that like is it butterflies or is it nervous? Like it, scared. I mean, butterflies being nervous, are like, you, like butterflies being nervous, same thing. If you ask I me. I guess so. And like. Try, say I try to do something for you and you don't like it. Then it's like, I'm like, I'm worried with butterflies. Like, what if she don't like it? Uh, like, what if she do like it and expect me to do this often? Now I gotta keep topping this. And what if I, I don't have the funds to keep it on top in it? Then what? You get what I'm saying? Like, say, say I did something for you Valentine's Day. Okay. And I get what you're saying, but I feel like it's not like. And you know me, I'm not gonna. It's I understand, not, but it's not. I'm not saying for you. It's a the questions, guys. Will you start talking about me? Yes, but I'm just like I'm now. I'm talking about the example. Say you do something one year, okay. And then the person expects something better than that. And then okay, say the yeah, next year you it. don't do nothing because you, now it was like why you do this last year if you can't do this this no, year. No, and I like, get that, but you. It's like I was confused because you were saying stuff about me, and then you didn't say like. But if it was other people, then like that. Uh, yeah. Like, if what guys would think. I was confused. Okay, anyway. Question number six. Do guys believe in soulmates and or true love? Yeah, this is my soulmate. Oh, my bun. Two peanuts in a, um, in a shell. Why are you manhandling me? Two peanuts in a shell? Stop doing that. What? Gonna grab my head like that, like I'm... We ate the peanut? The shell? Two peas in a pod? No, I didn't want to say that. I wanted to be two peanuts in a shell. Yes, true love is real. Soulmates, true love. Yeah, okay. It's real. All right. Question number seven. How do guys feel about plastic surgery? Butt injections, stuff like that. Taking the fat out your stomach, putting it in your butt, or getting bigger boobs, getting smaller boobs. Well, not small boobs because some people actually need that because they have back problems. But, so not that. But like, People that want to have bigger boobs. 
I get what you're or saying. Or a bigger butt. They want to do surgery. things to their body. Yes. Mm, do what you want. It's your body. You get to live once. But me, personally, I'm not a fan of it. But it's your body. Do what you want. You only live once. YOLO. That's how I look at it. Um, I can't tell you what to do with your body. You told me no. I said I'm not saying that I was it was a test. I was testing him because I just was testing him and he told me no. Which I don't to. I don't I don't want to because I just don't want to. But he told me no. Because so she don't need yes, to. he can yes. You saying I can't tell you what to do it. Yes. But I can I can say no, but if you want to do it at the end of the day. You're gonna do it regardless. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, okay. Question eight. Well, actually, we're going to skip question eight because question eight is kind of like question one. Oh, well, I'll just ask. Do you guys care about girls shaving? So that's kind of like the same question. Yeah, it's the same question. So, all right. Um, you got to shave at some point. Right. Um, well, no, because some people. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, some people. There's a lot of females that I've been seeing lately that don't shave their armpits at all. Like, I wouldn't do that, though. It's but. them. Let them live. Okay, so nine. What do you guys notice first about a girl? What I realized about you first was your nose. Say now, nah. I. Cause I'm about to say I, I don't even have no funny type of nose. I don't have a big nose. Like my nose is regular. So first thing I realized about you was your eyes. That was the first thing. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You told me. Yeah. No, you haven't told me anything. I think I did. Yeah. What's your eyes? Why? What do you mean, what? Why was that the first thing that you noticed? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Is any other, anything else you got to say? No, uh, that's the first thing I realized about you. Okay. What do guys usually notice, well? Like other people. But I'm not like every other... You're right. Everyone thinks differently. Right. Um, okay. Last question. Question number 10. Yeah. Question number 10. Mm. What? You blind. I can't see. It's 8, 13 minutes. Y'all, the camera screen is not that big. And the all the stuff on the screen, like, I can see us. But everything on the screen is mad small. Like, the time is mad small. Anyway. Question number 10. What are guys... Last question. What are guys' thoughts on paying for dates? Would you want to pay, split it? Well, actually, I'll ask you that after. What are guys' thoughts on paying for dates? Uh, is... I don't know. Like, what you mean? What do you, like, what do you... How do you... Okay, do I, so... How do I feel about paying How for? do you feel about... That's what I asked you. I what do guys... What are guys' thoughts on paying for dates? Or do you feel like the female should pay? Do you feel no, like you should I feel split like... it? I like, feel like this, if you ask a female out on a date, then you should pay for the date. If a female asks you out on a date, then she should pay for the date because you are basically inviting them to come out with you. It goes both ways. It's not a female asks me out on a date, I have to pay for the date. Nah, right. you ask him, so you have to pay. She. Like, if you ask her, then you have to pay. That's just how I feel. It go both ways. I feel like it's rarely ever splitting with couples. Like, we don't, we split, like, stuff that has to really, like, you know, bills. But we don't split, like, when it comes to, like, oh, well, if I want to, like, me, I take him, I want to take him out somewhere. I'm going to pay for it. We don't split it. Like, I'm not going to say, well, I'll pay for mine, you pay for yours. No. Or if he want to take me out, he going to pay for it. Like, it just makes sense. Now, if y'all agree on the split, then that's right. what y'all do. But I mean, I don't know. I, I personally think that's weird. Like, if you're out to eat and you're a couple, it's either one's gonna pay for it or the other's gonna pay for it. It's not really a splitting. Not even for couples. It's like if you wanna go on a date. Or same a date. Thing. I mean, but if it's a date, some, well, yeah, but if you're asking someone on a date, but I feel like if it's like something that has to do with your friends or something, like, then yeah, you could split it. But if you're an actual couple or going on a date, it's more like one person going to pay for it. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. This is the end of this video because this light is bright. 
<laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see us do next. Oh yeah, the next video, we're going to ask her some questions about females. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Without further ado, we out here. Peace.